Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very, very exciting video. Uh, it's actually a first for me. Uh, this brand reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a couple of their new lipsticks. And I jumped at the chance. Uh, I didn't have to, you know, commit to doing anything, promising them anything. So I said, why not? I love lipstick. I love trying new lip products. And my only exposure to this brand previously was with a cheek lip hybrid product that I actually really love. And so I said, why not? And the lipstick I'm talking about today is the new release from Merit Beauty. And it is their new lightweight lipstick called their Signature Lip. And it comes in these really pretty boxes if you're into packaging. But you know what? For me, it's really about the product. And I have been testing this product for the last three weeks. So this is not a first impression. This is an actual review of the product and to see if it's something you really need in your life. I will say upon opening the package and just seeing the component, the component is beautiful. It's this really heavy, heavy acrylic packaging. It's unusual for a brand to come out with really unique packaging, especially for a newer brand, I feel. And this is just, it's really, really beautiful. And it's very heavy weight. Like it feels like you're using a luxury product. You know, this is not an inexpensive lipstick, but it's not priced on, you know, the 38 dollar forty two dollar range it's priced at twenty six dollars which i think is very fair for the product i will say and i'm going to insert a picture of the release of the different shades that were included in this line i think this is one of the best releases of shade ranges i feel like the colors were very well thought out. I do appreciate that because sometimes it's hard when a lipstick range comes out at you and it's like 50 shades of lipstick and it's like, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. Let me read to you the claims of this and then we're gonna put on both shades and I'm gonna give you my thoughts. So it says that this is a sheer lipstick with a satin finish and the benefits of a lip balm without the heaviness of a traditional lipstick. It has squalene and sunflower seed oil, papaya fruit extract, and raspberry oil. And it is vegan and cruelty free. And, and yeah, it's definitely in that like clean beauty world. So let's just kind of stop talking. <laughs> the first color I'm gonna be putting on is fashion. And this is like a berry tone color. So you see it in the bullet here. It has uh, one of those bullets that's sort of pinched on both sides, which I actually really like. It makes easy for application. So I'm gonna just lightly put on one coat. So this is one coat of that berry color. It's a very pretty, warmer leaning berry color um very vibrant sort of fun i will agree with the claims that it is very lightweight it almost feels like i have nothing on my lips right now it's very very thin the formula i don't know that i agree with its sheerness uh, at least not with this shade i feel like this is pretty pretty rich and if i just put on another kind of coat I mean, that's essentially opaque to me. So I don't know that every single color in the range is going to be sheer. At least with fashion, I find this to be a really fully opaque color. I will also say that upon the second layer, you start to feel more of a lipstick feel to it, where there's a tiny bit more heaviness. There's no tackiness or anything. And the finish really is satin as it's described online. It is a very, very pretty shade and I feel like it really livens up my face and it's just flattering. I think it would be flattering on many, many folks, but I don't find it to be sheer. And um, I know that a lot of times people are looking for, for sheer products, especially if it's, you're calling yourself out and saying that you're sheer. 
I think maybe having a little bit more buildability would have been good in this formula. Let me take this off and I want to apply Tiger because I feel a little differently about that shade. So next up is Tiger and this was the shade I was most excited about. Um, I, it was really hard for me to select the two shades I wanted to try from this line but I, I think I did a good job. I mean they're two very unique shades on different kind of spectrum. That is the shade Tiger and you could see I applied just one swipe and this one I feel is actually a sheer formula. It also feels different than fashion. It feels like there's much more of a bomb wax feeling to it. So I'm wondering if some of the pigmentation depending on the shades actually affects the formula. Um, I would have to experiment with a couple of more shades to see if that's true. But if you were to put a blindfold over my eye and apply the first lipstick and the second lipstick and ask me if they're the same formula, I would actually say no. They were, there's absolutely no way they're the same formula. They really do feel that different. This one definitely is much more of a blotted, easy to wear. Um, I really do feel like I'm wearing a lip balm type of, of shade. Let me uh, show you what it looks like built up there before I even put it on the top I just want to show you the difference so you see you can get a greater level of opacity and so that's that color there tiger I really love how toasty it is it's definitely much more kind of orangey terracotta feeling than it is brick red which I think is kind of like what they describe it as this is not brick red <laughs> This is uh, like terracotta, think like pottery, deep pottery kind of color. Um, that's what this is to me. I love it. It is my jam to wear these kind of colors, but I know they do not suit everyone and it might not be for you. I wonder if some of the other kind of lighter shades will follow suit in terms of the feeling, the way that it feels, still retaining that bomb-like feel because even as I applied a second coat of the lipstick it doesn't have that kind of lipstick vibe to it it still has that very balm quality now there isn't a lot of slip to this lipstick so truly think of a lip balm not like a lip uh, oil or a lip gloss where your lips are, are easily sliding together there is like some level of adherence of tackiness which does help with the longevity of the product i will say this is a longer wear lip product without having to go down that road of a liquid lipstick so um if that's something that concerns you just know that like and it has a nice even wear down i will try to insert a picture of myself wearing it after a few hours just so you kind of see what it looks like um but I, yeah, I really, really enjoy this color. It doesn't settle into any kind of like fine lines or anything. It just coats everything nicely. It also just doesn't fill fine lines or, or I, I just, I, I don't think it's doing a, a plus or a minus in, in that regard. Um, I know there are just a lot of claims attached to this lipstick, you know, that it's the sheerness and all these natural ingredients, which are all, all wonderful. I will say though, that upon wearing this over the last three weeks on and off, I have found that if I wear this lipstick two days in a row or three days in a row, I tend to have, have a tiny bit of a reaction to the product. It kind of creates this, it's a little hard to explain, but it, there's kind of like a buildup that occurs with the oil and the waxes in it that um, cause my lips to feel like there's just an added layer of skin on them and then products stop penetrating. I think that this is a personal reaction to some of the ingredients here, probably to the squalene. I, I do have sensitive skin. I do have added sensitivity. And so I just wanted to make mention of that because if you too have sensitive lips or skin or tend to react to different things, you may have a tiny bit of a reaction. Um, again, just because something is 
clean and has clean ingredients doesn't mean that they're going to sit well with everybody because you can have an allergy to a plant extract and whatnot. Um, it is not anywhere near like my reaction to like lip products and fragrances where my lips will pucker up, dry out, get really crusty. It's not that at all. It's it's almost like um, maybe it's an over oiling or over hydration on my lips that then kind of causes this little bit of reaction. If I break it up to every other day, I'm totally fine wearing this though. Um, I'm still thrilled that I got to review this product, try it out, and I, it's definitely going to go in my arsenal of lip products that I'm enjoying. So overall, I really, really did enjoy this product. I would be so curious to try one of the other kind of lighter nude shades because I do think it's it's prettier and more unique when it's one of the sheerer shades. So um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. And um, I will definitely be on soon to talk about lots of other goodies. So I hope everyone has a great day. And yeah, we'll talk soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.